I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will highlight the differences between relations and functions. It is important to note that all functions are relations but all relations are not functions and that is what we need to work on. Now we will discuss different kinds of relations and see which one of these are functions and which are not. Right? So as far as relations are concerned uh, we know relations could be one to one relation, right? One to one relation. Many to one relation. Or one to many relations. So in one of the videos we have discussed that relations are basically three kinds. They could be either one to one right or they could be one to many to one or one to many right so these are kinds of relations which we have now when we say one to one relation it really means that uh, from the domain of the relation to the range the linking is or the correspondence of each element in the domain to that in the range is kind of like this, right? So, kind of like this. So, this this is how it is, right? Okay. When we say one to many, it really means that the relation is kind of like this. One to many means it could be like one to one or I mean say many to one we're talking about. Many to one. So, so many could correspond to one, for example, this, right? So, it could be like this also, right? Now, even if for one element in the range many are connected, this will be called many to one relation, right? Now, one to many could be like this. One to many is kind of like this, that this is one here and we just link to many, right? So, that is one to many. Even if there are others where there could be uh, one to one or something like that, but if this is one to many, since at least one element in the domain is linked with many in the range. So those are different kinds of relations which we can have. Now amongst these relations, since each element in domain is connected with only one, this relation is a function. Here also, every element in the domain is connected with only one in the range. Therefore, this is also a function. In this particular case, this element is connected with many and therefore, this is not a function. So, all the relations which are one to many are not functions. So, that is a general statement. Uh, which you could always use. That is one thing. If you are looking at the graph of the function, let me sketch a few graphs to illustrate this point. So graph could be one to one relation could be kind of like this, a parabola, right? So every point in along the x-axis is having only one value, right? Many to one a horizontal line is a good example, many to one. So all x values have only one va y value. This is many to one. One to many. Examples could be circle. So in circle, what you find, if I draw a vertical line, in that case, this vertical line has two values here, right? So one x value corresponds to more than one y value. So it is one to many and this relation is not a function. Uh, another very popular example in this case will be a straight line, vertical straight line. Let us say this point is 5, then the straight line equation will be x equals to 5. In this case, if this point is, let us say, 2, then y equals to 2 is going to be the equation of this horizontal line. So what we notice here is that in a graph, if you draw a vertical line 
and if vertical line intersects only at one point then it is a function right so vertical lines intersect only at one point it is a function here this intersects at two points and therefore it is not a function and here it intersects at infinite points and therefore it is not a function I've already given you a few equations which help you to identify whether the relation is a function or not. Now the equations which are not function will involve y square or in it, right? So y square plus x square equals to 25, for example, represents a circle with radius 5. So if I write this as 5, this as minus 5, then that could be the equation for a circle, right? So even equation which is y square uh, equals to, let us say, x plus 2, then when you square root, you get two values for y, so it, that may not be a function, right? So the graph of this one, this one, will be, will be kind of, uh, so when you square root it, so it is, uh, I'm just making, it will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So that graph will fail the vertical line test. Do you see that? So, so those are the kind of equations which will result into relations not being functions. So be careful about it. So you could identify relations which are not functions by looking at them. Graphically, vertical line test in mapping diagram, a point in the domain is mapped to more than one element in the range. And in equations, if you have y squared equals to something, then y will be square root, you could say y equals to plus minus square root of x plus 2, and that plus and minus results into two values of y for a value of x, and therefore this relation is not a function. I hope these tips help you to find which relations are functions, which are not. We'll have a few more examples to clarify this important aspect of relations and functions. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.